rare relic. Oh, baby. You want to do the boss for, for, for fun? Damn. You know what? I'll take you up on that, alright? We will do... Some silent boss roll re relics. Sorry, what? We'll do some silent boss relic re rolls. <clears throat> I will do that. What's up, Azrael? The Metro Exodus to start is really rough and rushed. It gets better. You feel like they condensed three or four hours into 45 minutes to start of the game pretty bad. Was that them trying to attempt to get you guys hooked in the beginning? Like, oh wow, this game's awesome. Let me keep playing. Why would they do such a thing? Why the title? I, the title's kind of gruesome, huh? I was trying to think of like a clever way to be like, you know, we're gonna be slaying the heart inside the spire. So then I, I was like, ironclad, one of the leading causes of heart disease. I mean, it is kind of. So then, I was thinking, like, okay, like defect in ironclad walk into a bar. Or walk into a spire. They leave heartbroken. Like, I don't know. I'm trying to think of different titles. Defect said he likes my stream. He has biased cognition. Um, uh, okay. Silent uses... Silent was very hungry. Okay, these are all bad. Let me just stop. <laughs> these are all bad. Oh, you thought I didn't like him? <laughs> it, 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 come across, it comes across that way sometimes, huh? Like, man, ironclad. So stressful. Look at my doggies. Oh my god. Resting boys. So bad that they're next level. Get out of here. Oh my god. 43 life already. Jeez. Okay. Backstab or Noxious Tombs. Noxious Tombs is the play. My friends. No. Removal. Removal. Damn. I hunger. I might just be Apex Legends. I, I hungry, or I might just be Apex, Apex Legend. Wait, I'm trying to think about this. I'm hungry, or I might just be, oh, and then he just says Apex Legends. Got it. Got it. So he just throws you guys for a loop. There's no actual, there's no actual thing there. It's just throwing you for a loop. Man, I like that guy's style. I'm gonna subscribe to him. I like his style. So what I gotta do is like Ironclad and Defect walk into a bar. Silly Spy Stream. Like is that is that kind of it? Okay, um, Hmm. Well. Hmm. Yeah, I like terror. I'm a, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of terror. But let me see here. We could take deflect and try to like make our block profile a little bit better. Uh, we have. Nah, we have Ori Calcum. All right. How are we killing this elite? Triple Sentry. Noxious Tombs got that, I think. Our block's pretty decent. Or Calcum considered with days. In fact, I want Triple Sentry. Give it to me. Lagavulin, kind of similar. I could uh, get the Terror out. Maybe get some Calipers if I'm lucky. Get the Noxious Tombs out and then begin. I'll take some damage, but I think the fact that we have Terror plus the fact that we'll have Poison stacking. Oh, we'll, 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 we'll win. We'll be maybe hurt at the end of it, but I think we'll win the Lagavulin. 
And then the Gremlin Knob is probably one of the worst, but again, we still have some decent block here, and Terror will perform pretty decently well, but I still think Gremlin Knob is the worst for me. Let's see. Let's see. Do we... Our, our weakness is pretty good because we have neutralized and leg sweep, so like upgrading neutralized sweep is a little less important. We got percent yeah, but I think triple percent is gonna be fine. I think we gotta just hope and try to get a high roll and not get gremlin up. But because I'm hoping for that, I know I'm gonna get gremlin up. But even even though I, the deck is actually kind of bad, it's okay. It has good good like a good power and good terror. You know, decent relics. It doesn't have quite the offense I would like to make me feel okay. I wonder if I rest just to kind of make this. Like resting feels like the play here. Sparkle is going to be a lot more painful, and it's going to d definitely justify the rest. I could go this way and then go to the second elite. I want to get Sparkle out of the way though. I'm going to rest. Sue me. Wow. Okay. That. Of course, Laga. Of course. Ooh. I mean, that's pretty good. I want to draw. Okay. I want to find a weekend. I was looking for neutralize, but... Not the end of the world, you know, for the fact that we got Sparkle out of the way and we have Toxic Egg, it's not the end of the world. Whoa, 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 whoa. After image is... Oh, move the camera down? Alright, I got you. Say no more. Say no more. Okay, so... What's up, Evely? How you doing? Traco, how you doing? After which is pretty good, man. But that's Cloak and Dagger Plus. I think we take After Mitch. What is it? The next. So the thing about After Mitch makes Oracle come pretty bad. It just makes Oracle come pretty bad right now. Uh, I'm back, guys. I, I wasn't fair enough. There's no good spot for this. Uh, this seems ideal. I think after of calipers is something, that, and for the late game, is something I'm gonna like. I am also cloak and dagger. It also helps with my offense a little bit because our offense is a little shoddy. And with Terror plus Cloak and Dagger, I think we... I mean, we had Noxious Tombs, but I think if we had the Cloak and Dagger plus with the Terror, we're, we're feeling okay with the offense a little bit. But, after imaging Calipers... Promises nice things. You see, this is going to be the case of Aoi Kablawi. Rough fight. This fight's really rough, actually. So, all by myself. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god, my offense is so bad. It's... it's oof. Oof. That's how I feel. It's oof. 
18 plus 3 is not 24, if you guys didn't know. <clears throat> it's been a while since I went to math class, but uh, I remember 18 plus 3 not being 24. Boom, 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 ba, ba, boom, boom, boom. It's okay, because we have Toxic Egg, so we'll take our beating, but once we get through all of this, nothing but sunshine and rainbows. I am a never nude. I got jean shorts every time I take a shower. I'm not afraid to admit it. I do not like this, though. You know what? <laughs> okay. Who needs to upgrade? What's wrong with resting if you just get free, uh, you know, upgrades with Toxic Egg? Predator is not bad. That piece sounded funny. Pr pr predator? Prêt à manger. Reflex. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna use this beautiful fire potion to take on the Water Nation with my good friends Aang by my side. No, we're gonna go ahead and use um. All right. So if we did the Gremlin Knob, it's gonna be Lagos, gonna be Triple Century. I think Triple Century is totally fine. It's gonna be uh. Pretty easy. Laga, oh, Laga's easy too. They're both easy. Ain't worried about nothing. Boom, 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 boom. Wilson Kip Ketter. I'm afraid I do not. Is that a waste of fire potion? Like, do I care about the days? Do I care about the days? Like, I can fire potion now and start attacking somebody else, and I get less days in my deck. Is the fire potion going to be something I'm going to need to get lethal on the Exit Ghost? I mean, damage has been an issue for us. Noxious Seems and Terror could be enough. And if we're lucky, maybe we get enough block to... Mm. What's up, Seagull? Mm -hmm. The case of not using after image. Nice. Okay, so double noxious fumes means we're gonna have five poison stack in a turn when it's all said and done. Do we like that? You prefer that over Seagull? Okay, I will respect that. I like Gamble because Gamble um, can help me find powers and help me find, you know, later on the piercing whale that I might need or Noxious Tombs that I want to, I want to get out or, in this case, the weekend or the after image. I mean, that Gamble is really, really good. But uh, Icy, we'll compromise, all right? You like Icy, I like Seagull, we call you the...
we call you Jeremiah, not human. True, true. But I never told you guys secretly that I prefer to be called human. Secrets out. I can use this to get the weaken. So next turn is not as bad, but I like the damage too much. Man. To block or not to block? Yeah, so his first attack is, is, is the attack that Hexico does is scale off your HP. So less HP ends up being less of a of a big smack to your face. I don't care about the weekend. Ba 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 ba. I mean, we want to get the Noxious Tombs out, right? So this is the story of a guy who wants to take the damage to get the Noxious Tombs out. Here's the story of a girl. Something, 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 something. I, I killed the lyrics. Story of a boy or story of a girl? Aye, aye, aye. This guy hits hard. Why he's so scary? So this isn't gonna give me uh, six minus two. Is it okay? Sixteen? Uh, no calipers. Doesn't matter. Ah. Remember I talked about damage, and now damage is going to be important. <sighs> Holy shit. We did it, boys. <sighs> Not even close. <clears throat> okay. So... Doppelganger versus Corpse Explosion is too good. So, it's not like I was stressed at all in the Hexagoist fight. And one way to not get stressed at all in the future is to not see what the enemies are doing. Because if you don't see what they're doing, then you're not stressed. Right? Is that how the logic works? <clears throat> I mean, I want energy. Let's see. Until you're dead. Yeah, true. Covering kite. I mean, hovering kite. When we see a reflex, it will be upgraded already. So that's something. <laughs> you know, I had a reflex offered to me. I should have taken that damn card. I'm taking that card because this relic exists. Um, I don't have well-laid plans, so this is kind of punishing. Pretty punishing. I mean, it's already punishing, but I would have died 200 bits. Thank you, Evelyn. So they did, I think it used to be one card, but then that was kind of like, well, that's the best relic in the game. So they made it two cards, and they're like, well, now that's the worst relic in the game. You see, you see the problem there? Because one card is like, well, you know, that's actually kind of a benefit. I could utilize that to manage curses. I could utilize that to, you know, get some discard effects on the silent. Hell yes, energy and discard. I like both of those things. Two cards, uh, no thank you, sir. But the thing is, um, the kite, it's, it's a de de delicate thing to balance because the discard 
one one discard, it's there's a lot of synergy on the silent with that. All right, we want to hit a shop. It's kind of a late shot, but I'm not too opposed to it. One, two, three, four, oof, two elites. One or two elites are we doing here? One or two elites. I mean, right now it's looking like... Slavers, I can see myself doing a good job. Terror Predator plus Corpse Explosion. Slavers, knock it out of the park. Mm, Book of Stabbing. Not quite there yet. Gremlin Leader. The ads might be a common issue. Corpse Explosion is not quite the tool I would want for the... Uh, yeah, I, can, I think only more slavers right now I feel comfortable doing right now with the current deck. And this is two least for us back to back, whereas at least here... Here I have a choice. So the problem here is that I get the elite early, and then I also have the option to do a late elite or a third elite if I wanted to, or another late elite over here, but there's no shop. So I would have to go this path and hope for a shop. Let's, let's go this path. Oh, these guys are attacking. For some crazy amount of damage. Um, <clears throat> this is going to hurt. Now, the question is, do we want to save our gold and kill these guys? Or do we want to try to block us in full? So if I try to block in full, we're looking at after image, block, 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 def uh, neutralize. If we're trying to get our gold, we do corpse explosion... Neutralize Noxious Humes. So that's going to make this 11. That's going to make this 7. It's going to be minus 6. 12 damage. Life is poured into me. Sorry, 8. Now. Yeah, you guys knew that. You guys knew that. Ugh. Oh. Can't win them all. Can't win them all. Huh. Huh. Why did the why did I take the catalyst? You guys know? The Muffin Man? Who lives on... Uh... Is it Pillsbury Lane? <laughs> okay, so... Play Dance Plus. Kill Hook Quick, quick Slash. I mean, but this place is still just kind of nice. It's kind of nice. With terror involved, that's 18 damage for one. After image is three block, four block rather. Four block after image. Four block after image, 18 damage with the terror. Can we argue with that, those numbers? Or do we want the deck to be more refined because we like the callus we just picked up? Maybe you want more petite, petit garçon, un, un petit garçon. Does it feel like a skip? I mean, I think 
I think I like the Aftermatch Terror combo, but I often have this trouble where I pick up a Catalyst and have some poison, but then I also implement some other thing in the mix that is not quite ideal. Wouldn't be my stream without taking it. I'm often not using after image because of Warwick Calcum. But that was clearly a mistake since I added Blade Dance to the deck. Rayform. Fucking dagger. Remove a card. I would like to remove a strike. Yes, sir, I would. But I also kind of like the goal that I had for the shop coming up. Maybe I want to do both. Remove and take the shop. Oh, we have enough gold that if we were to find Kunai or something, I can buy it and I'm happy. I wish I had more gold. I mean, more energy. Wouldn't that be nice? Alright, so the question is, are we doing Noxious and After Image? I think the fact that we picked up Cloak and Dagger and Blade Dance, we like the After Image now. We like it a lot. At the same time, there was a lot of damage I just missed out on. 18 to be exact, which gets that guy taken out of the way. But okay, let's do this. All right, why not? Ay ay ay. Ow. This is where we die, my friends. Never mind. Huh. Remember my Necromancer moment with the Portal Relic? It would be broken with Unceasing Top. Portal Relic. What did that do again? Do you like Bouncing Flask? Personally, I don't like it. I personally don't like bouncing, but we have own, like practically no poison except for Corpse Explosion and Noxious, and Noxious is not really a poison with Catalyst. I guess... Ah, that's right. I know what I need here. Needed some good old braid food is what I needed. Oh yeah. Alright. Dagger throw. Seems cheeky. Who's the boss here? Alright. What do we got? Reflex, oh! Who doesn't eat the skin of a kiwi? I mean... So do we buy Ghost and Jar here? In case we have a bad execute turn? Or a bad elite? I mean, Ghost and Jar is just, just nice. We can maybe be aggressive and take uh, two elites with that Ghost and Jar.
I like rolling. I like <coughs> removal. Ten plus is very good. Maybe I like it better than removal. I mean, was it good enough for me to? So how have we upgraded? Quite well. He's not attacking again. Surely not. He might be attacking now. If he's attacking, I'm dead. If he's attacking, I'm dead. If he's not attacking, I, I, I win. So... He's attacking, I'm dead. No attack, I win. Dodge and roll. Hmm. Uh, this is, might be a rough one. I want to do corpse, but if they're both attacking, then e is corpse even? Yeah, because of catalyst. Remind me why I haven't upgraded after image. I should be using it. I think with the cards that we've added to our deck, the after image is uh, a welcome addition. Yikes. Oh boy. Ah. Uh. He doesn't always attack. We're so dead, it's ridiculous. Thank you. All right. I'll come back to that. Oh, holy yes. Maybe now we can get something going. Full working calipers. Maybe now it shows itself. Prepare to dig, but also get after image value. <laughs> yes, me and the bone, we're happy, happy, happy campers. Two 
we like prepared. All right. Question is, are we about to take the second elite? Let's find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. He wouldn't do such a thing. That's crazy. Son, watch me. Oh, we're dead. No, because guys, we do prepared and we win. All right. Sorry. I mean, we do. Um, what's it? What's that thing called? Uh, predator. Right. Predator plus uh, two strikes. So that's gonna be mm, forty-eight damage, and forty-eight plus twenty-six is uh, you know somewhere above seventy, which the guy has exactly seventy. So, um, prepared. Gotta find the two strikes we found. Two strikes. Oh, we might be dead. But, uh, okay, we gotta draw exactly into Predator Blade. I mean, okay, we don't have to kill him this turn. There is ways to block Leg Sweep, and next turn we win that way as well. So, let me not be so silly. Footwork, Leg Sweep, Dodge and Roll is still pretty good block. And maybe that's safer than going for Predator... And so we're drawing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. And we've got 10 cards, 12 cards, rather. 10 cards. Okay, so seven out of 10. And we need to hit three cards. Uh, hmm. I had gamblers who would guarantee it, by the way. By the way, thankfully I don't get punished. A stack of penib. We can stack a penib. So what we can do is penib stacked for bag of marbles things. I like Deadly Poison. Ah, uh, but the thing is, we have Backstab with Bag of Marbles. You know what's crazy? I think... I think I could do an Elite. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hmm. Deadly Poison with the Catalyst, though. The deck just has two things going on right now, and it's very conflicting. We don't really have AoE. This is not bad for AoE, but I've saved the flex right now. Okay, let's go do this. Backstab, though. So, if we do find the slavers, we should be able to ace it. No damage taken. Yeah, we need Corpus Explosion to turn one. We do have Gamblers to kind of guarantee that. It's very, it's requiring a couple of things to go right. And if those things don't go right, things go horribly wrong. But even book of stabbing. So for instance, I got decent damage with catalyst, single target. So my single target damage is out of this world. The only thing is we need to find footwork relatively early. And we, with the footwork early, plus the fact that we have some deep, like a two weekend in the deck and a speed pot in hand, we could definitely block until Catalyst just wins for us. On top of the fact that we have like Pendant, Predator, etc, etc. So Book of Stabbing I'm not really worried about either. But again. Yo, Honor. Welcome, buddy. You guys want to see me uh, make a very reckless decision?
We got aggressively different catalysts. Maybe not that aggressively. He does 14. He does 14. He does 14, right? I, I, I'm confirming with... You, you, okay. I want to do this, but I really want to do leg sweep. So, if I do speed pot leg sweep... I think he gets down to 15 damage. In which case, I do Bouncing Flask. And then... I need the Bouncing Flask. So I need... Deadly Poison... Catalyst in the following turn. Let's say the perfect world. We do Deadly Poison Catalyst, alright? So, Bouncing Flask is 12. Alright, he gets down to... Ay, ay, ay. 96, but then it's 11 poison. 11 plus 7 is 18. 18 times 3 is 54. If we add corpse explosion into the mix, 25. 75 poison. It looks like we're dead. I think we're dead, actually. Hmm. I think the better play... Footwork, leg sweep, block. Calculator game ball. Because the other play doesn't work. The callus is not in time. It's just one turn short, and I can't survive the next turn. Unfortunately, I don't get uh, the calipers, but... So, I think now... This is either a 24 attack, so it gets mitigated down to 18. Or I think he goes from 3 to 5, then he ends up being like... I think it's 18 now. I think this is 18 now. I think we do the speed pot so we can afford. Awkward because. Because I have no life as a resource, I can't go all in with Catalyst like I would like to. But I'm going to have to use Catalyst now. And then we're going to have to hope that we can defend for at least three turns. Hey. I could do... Corpse Survivor, but I think we're going to have to... I think he's doing 18, right? And we're going to have to hope, trust that. If he's doing 18, then I have to... Um, I got to do Speed Pot if he's doing 18. Then do Corpse, and then I got to... Huh. But retaining Kallus is problematic because... It's not really the best term for doing... <laughs> I don't know why I went into this situation. What's up, Kite? What's up, Nicolette? Okay, we don't we don't have the It's not the best one to do. There's a turn where he does twenty four, so we're fine. No no no. I'm forced to. Ew. 
This is the 18. That was the 18 turn. So, 27 times 3 is 81. So, all right, if I, <laughs> if I could somehow do Calculator Gamble and get into Blade Dance, we win. This is so, because I'm only drawing three, and I had to hope that out of 14 cards, we hit Blade Dance, so it's three out of 14 chance. I could also just do Catalyst and pray for block. Or we can do 3 out of 14. Play Dance. Well, Cat just blocked. The thing is, the guy's not weakened. So, I would have to find a weaken. I'm dead with just the blocking. I mean, yeah, I could dig. But he's not weakened. So, this is very difficult. X3, Dre, how you doing? You understand? Like... I need to find a weekend on top of the block. And we, we already used this. I think we gotta go all in. And we... So. Yeah, but the thing about Catapult Block, okay, I had to draw three cards, right? And then I, one, I hopefully one of them is a weekend. I mean, I guess we have to take that chance. But neutralize is not just enough either, because I also have to find weak in this block. The question is, are we playing defend first, or are we trying to use one more card to get a better block? Because the ratio of blocks in our deck is like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You know, yeah, just by options, it, it is better to um to do this. No for blade dance? No, it's too late now. Um I'm wondering if I want to use defend first. I think I wanna get more chances. I don't know if I even have enough block, actually. Easy. Well... Nightmare's really good. The number is like, um, Nightmare Catalyst. So, footwork again is really good for caliper purposes, but Nightmare can be three footworks. Could also give me more catalysts. Could give me more after images to be bonkers. Nightmare is just, uh, top tier. Now you guys are like, all right, Jeremy. The drama, the suspense, we get it. Book of Stabbing. Can't see what he's doing. Very scary. Surely you're going to rest, right? Wrong. No, we are going to rest. Let me see, though. Let me, let me, let me think about this. Because resting is definitely not... Like, no rest is definitely an option. But one bad turn, and we're dead, right? And there's no reason to put myself in that situation. Because none of these upgrades are... The, the one thing I maybe I want to upgrade is the Wally Plans, but that's not life or death. It, it's just I have to rest. Unfortunately. Sure, no, I can get a bite about resting, but it's... I have to, I have turns where I do not make 18 block or more. And there are definitely turns where the champ is attacking for 18 and I need to be able to block at all times. 
And Caterpillar's just not going to back me up here. Just for the YouTube. I got a wrist. Had to upgrade the after image. Yeah, I know I, I know the after image needs to be upgraded. I think Wilder Plains would help as, as well to get a more consistent block. But it even helps set up Nightmare. Okay. Uh, how how crazy is it to not rest here? Uh, I would... I have to rest. 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 I don't like Callus against this guy. I don't even like... I mean, this is fine just because... I'm, I might be taking damage, but at least I... I'm not dying, I also get card roll. It's fine. Nightmare after image now and uh let calipers take over. The thing is, Nightmare Full Work is probably better. But after Nightmare After Image is uh, with Blade, Blade Dance, Cloak and Dagger and stuff. I can very see. I can see the um, calibers getting getting juicy. Am I greedy and I'm waiting for footwork here? Because I could very easily do After Image, Leg Sweep, Cloak and Dagger, Wildly Plants, hold on to Nightmare, and then get footwork next. And I feel like the footwork. Just makes calipers get out of control, and then we can kind of uh, take our time, or have a callus that's not perfect, but we have so much block it doesn't matter. Footwork's upgraded. Surely he's not going to attack again. Right? He wouldn't do that again. We're not callousing now. We're not gonna callous now. All right. Time to play solitaire. And boy, do we love solitaire. Just get the block here. I don't care about the pendant. We actually want more poison. Like, if we're gonna butter him up, we want. Callus is awkward on this guy. Theoretically, I could just block a crap ton and just use Callus for the second phase. So here, he's gonna get pushed, but I'm gonna draw back into the um, let's get pen of stacks. We're gonna draw back into the weaken. I'm confident. So we're gonna be vulnerable here, but predator should help ensure I get weakened. 
And I'd rather hold on to Bouncing Flask. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so stupid. Kyle's there was lethal. Two turn lethal. It's 220, not 230. I just had lethal. That was two turn lethal with Catalyst. Bam, bam. Ah, uh, whatever. Okay. This still works. Whoops. Whoopsies. Whoa! Man, there's no way to make a deck more bonkers than I have Double Nightmare and praying to Arn Jesus. Yes, the first turns might be very, very dangerous, but once you get the Nightmares off, you win the game. I just, I don't know if I can afford a second Nightmare. I really don't think so. But Burst is really good. Burst is versatile. It could be an... Um. Hmm. This one is stressful, guys. A burst and callus is very good. Burst. Uh, I mean, just burst for its second block is just fine, right? First dodge and roll, maybe play dance, get the pendant thing going after image value. Burst calculator again, we'll shuffle through my whole damn deck. Burst leg sweep for the memes. Burst and nightmare is enough. Not wrong. I need to upgrade while they plants. Ooh, I like energy. And I think the one strength that they're getting is going to be offset by the fact that my energy is going to allow me to get more block. But. Hmm. The hearts are going to be a little bit harder. The darklings are going to be a little bit harder. Very easily we can kind of get booty collapsed a little bit. Act 3. I don't have malaise to kind of balance out the, the strength again, right? But what I what I lack in malaise, I can make up for in potentially nightmare caliper craziness. Uh, if, if I can do it in time. Easy bell. Okay, well the bell, we have um, smiling mask. And we have ways to manage the curses a little bit. We're prepared. And calculator gamble. And I would say a really, really top tier relic we can get from this would be Paper Crane, Incense Burner, Kunai would be kind of cool, maybe a little slow. There's quite a handful of nice ones. There's also other ones that may not do anything, but whatever. No, no, no. See, no, we're not gonna. We don't do. We don't do science, but also, the bell's horrible most of the time. But I figured. The fact that it's an Act 3 and we have Smiling Mask, maybe we can mitigate it because we have some relics to kind of balance out this instead of taking Act 2. Mall Bank, yeah. Damn. The heart's gonna hurt. I, I guess we can, you know what? We have Prayer Wheel. We're gonna find more cards. And more ways to handle this. Alright, so my, my game plan. I'll be utilizing the stone, smiling mask, to um, remove at the shop. So we can remove here and here. How do you feel about elites? I 
We definitely feel like we can handle... Nemesis. Eh, tricky. I don't know if I can get my block up fast enough for Nemesis. Even Giant Head, yeah, I have to, Giant Head, easy. I have time to get my block going. Reptomancer, AoE's a little bit suspect. Reptomancer's kind of scary. I'm actually kind of scared of Hollow Fist a little bit because we have the Philosopher's Stone. So... This way. Yikes. So burst is how we get calipers going. No questions asked. Immediately calipers was a thing. But our health is also at the 34 right now. It's uh... hmm. So the thing right here though is um with five energy deflection it becomes a little bit worse. So I'm gonna pass. I could take the curse, get the healing, and remove for 50 gold, which cracks small bank, but are we worried about our health? Madness? Yeah, we have Toxic Egg, but what is Madness doing for us? It makes me do Nightmare. So with Madness and Nightmare together, some crazy things could happen. But it's very specific of a combo. It's very specific. You gotta think about the versatility of that. Like, beyond that, with 5 energy, drawing into Madness certainly doesn't help me at all. You know? With 5 energy, I don't want a 0 cost madness. I don't have enough card draw. If I had card draw, then maybe yes. Like acrobatics or backflips, then I could draw into the 0 cost madness along with other cards that I can utilize energy on. Yeah, it's 50 gold to heal 14 HP. I know, but it also cracks small bank, but... It's not only just removing the curse, I could also be removing a strike instead. But yeah, 50 gold for 15 HP. 50 gold for 14 HP heal. Sure. Ooh, but then meat in the bone shows up and it's like, my friends. Oh my god, this shop is something. I mean, that one's so good, but I mean, it is a little late. We still get value out of it, though. It doesn't help directly against the heart. Let's talk about the orange pellets. Orange pellets and speed pot. How many powers do we have? One, two, three, four. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Damn. I mean, the bone is really good. I wonder if it's worth it just for these last remaining acts, and... It also, I mean, if I take damage in the Act 4 Elite, this also help, makes me healthy for the, the heart as well. Orange pellets, yeah, it's... It makes the potions come to life, but aside from that... I guess I can manage Frail. That doesn't feel that tempting. It doesn't feel that tempting to me. We can find Wraith Form, you're right. We can find Wraith Form. 
we have prayer wheel, so we, we do find more cards. And prayer wheel can help us find malaise and wraith form. And those would be the last two components to really take the deck to the next level. Okay. Okay. Another Fulberg I, I would like. Sure. 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 I'm losing neutralize. I mean, that's a, that's a nice way to get rid of the artifacts. But maybe we're moving on to bigger and better things. We're, we're going to be running on a weekend. All we have now is leg sweep. But neutralize, zero cost. I would say with our energy, we'd rather play leg sweep. But we could get rid of a defend too. Maybe bone also heals between bosses, yes. But I'm hoping that when deck makes a lot of block. Let's get rid of neutralize here. I should be fighting monsters now with this. That's very good. I don't want another curse though. Am I am I a fool for not taking that? Oh, this fight I didn't want to see. Worse. Could be worse. My goodness gracious. Corp Explosion is top tier. We need to play it, right? But I got a block. My life, my life's too important. My life for ire. Oof. Ah. Holy shyster. I could I could do bursts. It's okay. Why am I? I need Scorpion Explosion. That's all I want. Cops explosion. Wow. Pass. Those black blobs clapping cheeks while holding some red rocks. <laughs> What's up, big buck? Three months in a row. Welcome back, buddy. I'm going to skip both of these.
Alright. Why more pylons? This guy's gross. But you know, it's only like six damage. Oh boy. Oh, sh dude, is that too many footworks? Can't be, right? Can't be? Is my deck on to crap, guys? I feel like my deck has always been crap. It hasn't gone to crap. It's always been crap, huh? So the thing is, I like the weak potion, but fire potion may be better. No, I think weak potion is at least better for mid game damage, but also maybe artifact control. I don't like this writhe, but Forward Plus is very good though. No. So this deck for the heart has Catalyst and Poison doing damage. So the poison's enough for the, the heart damage, and all I gotta do is um rack up a significant amount of block. Which could, we could do it in different kinds of ways. We can always do Nightmare after Mitch as a way to get block. If we do full work, we get another chance of Nightmare full work. I mean, Tactician. We're prepared. Calculate Gamble. Is Tactician something we consider? I don't think so. I need to move some of these strikes. Take care, Dripatronic. I keep resting. But I want to keep fighting. I can fight after the rest. That's going to be my last rest. I, maybe, maybe I could have... Alright, uh, this is very important. I know, I know, I know. I gotta look for Wraith Form now. Alright. I definitely should have done After Image first. Alright, we're fine. Twelve? We're not fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Would have liked more damage on that turn, but it's okay. We're fine. Alright, we're gonna have to beat the Dorn Deco with this much life. Why not like malaise or something? Maybe wraith form? Oh, this is gonna be a rough one. Ugh, that's gross. We have no card draw, guys.
I mirror footwork? Sure. No weak in here. Weak power is probably worth it. <sighs> aye, aye, aye. This is card draw. I should take that. Cross motion, like really? Those days are going to hurt. Ah, 14 life and a dream. We've done through words, right? Piercing. Oh, whoa. Blur can help. Kaka Gamble could also help. So Couch Ups obviously helps, but... Okay, Blur helps, I think, quite a bit. Because that makes the Nightmare target... Another Nightmare target... I know we have Couch Ups, uh, Calipers rather, but... Sometimes calibers is not a perfect science or not a perfect, you know, it's not it's not a perfect tra a transference for the next turn. 15 block is significant. I like the blur here. Well, Calculate Gamble could help me find things that I would need. You, we can utilize it as card draw. Piercing well on a clutch turn. Okay. Are we dead? Jesus Christ. First turn's horrible. I need to find for work. I gotta focus on block. I can't focus on poison. I gotta focus on. Uh, I know this seems weird, but I gotta get my pieces out before I worry about the poison aspect of things. Uh, burst is burst is gonna be good. I need to find nightmare now. I would say. Let me see. If I do calculate gamble when I look for nightmare footwork, I think I can get out of this. I think I can get out of this. Like if I just do calculate it straight up now, in hopes that we've. Hmm. I like this better. All right, so I kind of want to do this. I 
I can get rid of this guy's thing so I can utilize the piercing wall as an option. So if I do Noxious now... No, nah, it doesn't even get rid of the... Damn. Because I want to get rid of this guy's artifact so I can maybe use Weak Pot and Piercing Wheel as an option to get out of trouble. But... Like, if I do Calculator now and then do Bouncing Flask, then I could get rid of this artifact mo m most likely and then maybe get a block and hold on to Nightmare, hold on to Piercing Wheel. Piercing Wheel, the turn I use Nightmare, and then we can use Nightmare the following turn to hopefully win. If you catch my drift. Question is, is this enough block for this guy right here? I think so. I think it is. We have the Nightmare Footwork that we wanted, but we want to set up Piercing Wall for next turn. And I, I'm hoping that we have enough block for this turn. I wasn't keeping track of the damage. So they start off around what? 12? So we can assume he's doing like 19 times 2. With the weekend is like 32 damage. Am I doing the math wrong? Am I over? He's like 30 or 32 damage. This guy's attacking, don't know. So this is going to be 4 block. 5 block. 6 block. If it's 32, we're dead. Maybe it's better to do... It's important to do bouncy though, because I want this guy's artifacts to be gone. But I can also just do terror on him. So if I do prepared, I can do terror. No. Then I can do weak pot and then piercing. No, I. So th here's what here's what we're gonna do. The terror is very useful. In in killing Donu, but my goal or my hope is that the cats will be enough. So I'm gonna get rid of Terror for the artifact here. And I think if he's doing 32, we're fine. 28. Ah, uh, okay. I, I have more wiggle room. I have more wiggle room there. So are we doing piercing well now? Are the nightmare footwork? This guy, since this guy was weak and this guy wasn't.
You know what? The bigger problem here... Just that you guys should know. The larger problem here... Is the next boss fight. Me and the Bone would have been nice. I probably should have taken it. The pellet doesn't do much compared to Me and the Bone, but it's okay. Stack would have loved me in the bone. Still don't have a corpse yet. I mean, we're taking time, but we should be fine. I mean, they're trying to they're trying to do some damage. They're trying to do some damage. Like quite a significant amount of damage. But we're fine. I don't know how we're gonna do this with 3 HP. <laughs> we're so dead. We're so dead. The stack up pendive. Yeah, so I bought Pellets instead of being the bone, but I feel like. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know if Pellets was. Okay. There is a chance here. There is a chance here. Really? I am so silly. I didn't play for the Corpse Explosion out, which means I should do one damage, two damage to the guy on the left so Corpse Explosion handles him. I mean, it's still fine, right? Like, we're still living with Leg Sweep defends Corpse Explosion. It's still fine. We're not dead. I mean, I don't know. This thing... We're probably dead. The thing is, by weak potion for what though? What's the weak potion for? The weak potion this guy to make him do two less damage? This guy is. I'm thinking I'm looking at like seven. I forgot that philosopher's stone. Seven, let's say a ballpark of like 19, right, 25. Maybe 25 is a reasonable number we're taking. So we have six plus 15, 21, 21 plus two. All right, I think we live. 
Hashtag just barely. Thank God, baby. All right. Whew. If this is multi hit, hello, we need to find uh, piercing whale. All right. I'm stressed. But piercing was not in the third hit, is it? I don't even know. I let the visual indicator tell me. It's, I think this might be the multi hit. So, we need to do, we need piercing whale. There's no ifs and buts about it. I'm gonna eat some chips. Where's the family? I need to find piercing will. So I need to leave myself with. If I were to do expertise, let's say I leave myself with. Uh, one energy. No, I need two energy. Forward blur better. Probably. Four block plus four block six plus nine fifteen four plus twelve. But that gives him strength. But we're dead regardless, right? So I think forward is gonna be something we wanna play. In the arms of an angel. See the piercing whale. I need to calculate my piercing whale. So I need to basically. I left myself. I need to find calculated piercing. Or calculated to help find piercing. Piercing, I need a piercing whale. GG. Damn. Stressful. You know, I'm kind of glad it's over. Kind of glad it's over. I was stressed since Book Stabbing Act 2. He was he was already weak. He was already weak. He had Philosopher's Stone plus I played After Image. Now we can argue maybe After Image wasn't worth it. Was there a way I could aggressively find Piercing Will sooner? I don't know. Me and the Bone was probably better. So the, the pellets didn't do anything for me.